having a fabulous fabulous Thursday or oh, hope you all had a fabul fabulous fabulous Thursday because today is Friday by the time you're watching this which is actually crazy the weeks are just ticking by so so quickly now it's unbelievable anyway I'm just sat here today in our little baby's nursery we painted this feature wall last week it's kind of hard to show you it's a big mess in here because we've like <laughs> it's such a mess guys it's just filled in the middle with all the baby's bits and bats as we're currently waiting on bigger furniture to be ordered and to arrive so we've ordered this cart that should be here in a few days hopefully and then we still need to sort out wardrobes etc etc but once we've done all that which will hopefully done be done within the next week or so then we can really start to decorate this room and make it look cute today however i have got something else that i can get sorted out in here so the inspiration that i got from this wall or this wall feature was on pinterest and the triangle over there the white one on the picture that i saw had like black dots all over it and it looked really cute and i thought oh i can do that simple really easily and then when i was researching black dots i came across these really really cute little stickers and i thought to myself why don't i use those and put my own little touch on it rather than completely copying like the dots that was on the inspiration picture so they've just arrived i got them so cheap on ebay they were like two pound something per sheet and i weren't sure how big the stickers would be and how many you got on each sheet so i just ordered four sheets i've got way too much but um, <laughs> i think there's too many there anyway i think we're about to put those hello pretty put those on the wall today where are you going where are you going say good morning i fam i hope you're all having a lovely day good morning i fam i hope you're all having a wonderful day Eey, look at your pink nose so i thought these were like stickers just peel them off the paper stick them on the wall we're literally going to be hours trying to do this it's so difficult to work with they're like oh my god that's quite good that's good for his body they're like so fiddly and floppy and they just straight, change man. shape all the time oh my gosh that's so difficult yay <laughs> We got the first one on. That was so hard. I don't want to do any more of them. That was really, really difficult. I'm really bodged job. I'm just like, yeah, that'll do. And Chris is like, no, it has to be exact. And now look I don't at his know face. How we're stressing out. Small properly, that was really difficult. He's stressing out. Look how cute he is, though. That is cute. But I love we, it. But we got so we many. We might need to get a pencil and do some actual marks. Where to put them? Oh, yeah. Them. Yeah, maybe because, yeah. <laughs> Chris won't let me touch the stickers. <laughs> he said I can't do it. <laughs> I'm not straight enough. I'm not precise enough. I'm not getting it right. It literally is so you go, why would anyone do this to us? Why would anyone create stickers like this? <laughs> They're so annoying. What's wrong with whoever made these? They're going good though. Yeah, they should just be stickers that will peel off and go bang straight onto the wall. Never this fiddly little line bits and stuff that goes completely wrong. They're going alright so far, but like, he That's nearly cute. lost his life. He nearly went, he nearly had to go, didn't he? He nearly he? had a paddy and threw him in the bin, that's how bad that one was. <laughs> Every one of them black dots is an individual sticker. <laughs> do you want me to do it? No. <laughs> the stickers won, guys. It all got a little bit too much for Chris. <laughs> He's gone downstairs in a paddy to make a cup of tea, so I've taken over. But I've stuck a few on, it is so fiddly. I think it looks so cute. It looks awesome. So there's just that bit here to finish off. The, the most difficult part of doing this is trying to get the spacing right and knowing which little thing to put where, which sticker to put where, to make it look even so it doesn't just look a big mess. I think 
when it's all done, this will look great. I absolutely take it back. Sarah's well better at doing this than I am. Literally well better. She's you just like, too much. yeah, I think I probably do. She's, she's just bossed like the whole rest of the half of the wall. In about and it's, three minutes. It looking so good. I think this is the best thing we've ever done decoration wise. It's so cute. It does look Get like that little it? fox busting it at the front. With all his mates behind him. Let's go. It's so sweet. I absolutely love it. We've got some really other cool bits of decoration. So it's probably already said to come on. Really there. other cool bits. Really other cool bits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what we just told my bad. You just told the guys that we've got really other cool bits. <laughs> Anyways, that is far too fiddly for me to be messing about with, so I'm glad that you finished that off, babe. Thank you very much. It's all done. It literally went, they were so fiddly. All these little antler bits were so fiddly that it was literally making me angry inside. <laughs> Just putting them down, I was like, <laughs> So I made a cup of tea and let her finish it. Yeah, I told everybody went downstairs, so I was don't Yeah, I was not talking. <laughs> <laughs> Stickers are all done. We were just deciding how to spend our afternoon. Chris just said, do you want to go out and get some lunch from the Potting Shed in Geisley, which is such a delicious place to eat. And we haven't eaten there since last summer. And I was so tempted to say yes. But I said no, I'm gonna get myself a biscuit instead. And I'm going to put this up. You may have seen in a video, one of our videos over the weekend, I think it was. Was it this weekend? It might have even been last weekend. I think it was last weekend. Um, where I bought this in B&M. It was like £19.99, reduced from 30 And I said to you guys, that's really nice, but I don't know if it comes with the boxes because obviously it kind of is thin. It's thin and I didn't think the boxes would fit in. And then I suddenly thought, well, they're probably pop-up boxes. So I'm about to open it now. Chris seems to think that I'll need a screwdriver. I don't think I'll need a screwdriver. I think it'll just pop up. But I'm about to open this now. That's probably going to go in the corner or something over there. And then I can start emptying some of the bags and put in the little bits and bats away. I'm absolutely telling you, babe, that has not got the baskets in that box. It it's is just up. the frame of the shelf. That's it for definite. I think it'll have the baskets in. No way. If it's got the baskets in, then I'll eat my own words, but it, it hasn't. There's no way. Oh my gosh. If it's got the baskets in, let's do a dare for each other. Because I really think the baskets will come with it. But I don't know. But I think they will. And it doesn't say anywhere. So if, if I'm right, what should you have to do? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if Sarah's right, comment below something for her to do, guys. If I'm right, comment yeah, something below. Yeah, you guys give us a dare. Comment something below. Yeah, you guys give us a dare below for if me and Sarah are right. So I think the baskets are not there. So you think the baskets are there? I think it will be included. Whoever's wrong has to do a dare. Comment below the dare right now. And <laughs> we'll guys. do it next video. And we'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Don't be too harsh, though, guys, because I am pregnant. Are you ready to see? There's no way the baskets are in there. They will. Why would they not? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Unless it's just showing home baskets. I think you're wrong. <laughs> I love being right. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I am way too excited about that. But I'm really excited because I'm so happy it comes with the baskets. And now I don't have to worry about finding baskets that fit it. And I can't wait to see what your dare is. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering, didn't need a single screwdriver. <laughs> popped straight out the box and popped straight up. <laughs> I literally love this. I'm so glad I bought it. I don't know if what I've put in there is definitely going to stay in there. But for now, I've got all of his little rolled up blankets. Some of those there are actually from you guys, which just are so sweet. And then I put some nappies in here. And then this box was really tiny. So I was trying to find something really small, but that we'd use probably every day. So <laughs> his little socks have gone in there. But I just think that is so sweet. I think it looks adorable. So I just came downstairs for a glass of water and the postman had been, and there was a very official looking letter. I hate getting letters say like my name. I don't know why. I always feel like it's going to be something bad. Always but bills are bad. It's always bills, yeah. <laughs> but um, I got a letter and then a couple of other ones that looked really nice. So I opened those ones first. I 
two lovely, lovely cards from you guys. One's from Karen, 3218. Thank you so much, Karen. That's such a nice card. And then this one, Forever Friends. I used to be obsessed with Forever Friends when I was, like, probably started when I was about nine, and I collected them until I was about 16. And I used to have, like, 300... No, that's an exaggeration. Probably like 70 Forever Friends items, like lunchbox and pencil sets. I loved Forever Friends so, so much. And it brought back memories seeing that. And that's from Emma. Thank you so, so much. And then I opened the scary looking envelope and it was my driving license. Obviously this is just the back, but yay! I can't believe it's arrived. The guy said it could take up to two months and it's taken a week. Let's celebrate with a cup of tea. I just opened a really, really cute package from Rosalind, which is so lovely. Uh, it's got a cuddle robe, some scratch mitts, which I actually don't have any of yet, so I'm super happy about those. But I just wanted to show this because how adorable are these gift tags? She sent something for the girls too, and I just thought those gift tags were so sweet, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they've been handmade. And I absolutely love when people, like, take the time to make things. How cute are those? They're literally so pretty. Hi guys, I've just got back from school and you're probably wondering why I have this towel on my head. It is because I've just got out of the shower in my LOL pajamas and I'm just about to dry my hair and, and just get ready basically. And Isla, oh my gosh, are you having a giraffe right now? Oh, really? Are you having a laugh? I was about to say, I left capable hands of Chris to cook dinner. Why have you done that? I couldn't find a tray. Oh my god. The tray wouldn't fit. Look what it's got the chips on. All good. What are you Improvising. doing? Improvising. That's for cupcakes or Yorkshire pudding. Yeah, look, it's cooked on beautifully. Look, they're nice and crispy, just like they're supposed to be. <laughs> Perfect. I don't know what it's like where you are right now, but up this way, there is a mega freeze happening right now. In fact, it hasn't got above like minus two all day today. And now it's just started doing this. <gasps> it's snowing, boo boo. It's snowing. It's proper it's snowing. So bad, oh my gosh. Everyone gets Can so excited it? about Can snow. I feel it? Can I feel it? It's very cold, no, and you in your pajamas. Up. Probably not tonight, Boo Boo. Yeah, right. Okay, nice one, isn't it? You wish, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep dreaming, mate. Keep, Keep it's dreaming. It's as well tomorrow. We can have three days of the weekend. Keep dreaming, mate. Keep dreaming. Anyway, it better not do. This snow would better just stop right now, no, 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 because no. I've got a busy day tomorrow, and I don't need any snow. In fact, I can't have any snow, and my day is cancelled. Comment below if you are having a big freeze wherever you're watching this video right now. I know there's some big freezes going on over in America in some parts right now. Some of the pictures I've seen online look crazy. Anyway, Isla's just got out of the shower. She's just getting herself hair dried and whatnot. Esme, okay, thank you. Esme was just doing some homework. Same with Isabel, but Isabel, let's have a chat, my friend. So uh, Isabel had a bit of an anxious day today. You wanna to tell them why? Third more Shall I tell them what happened? Okay, so Isabel today, it was so funny. Isabel texted me at like, when was it? About 11 o'clock this morning. And she was like, Dad, have you got my report? Because Isabel's school report goes onto like a portal that we log into online and we can download it and read it. So Isabel was like, is my report come through? And I was like, let me go check. And it had. So she was like, oh, will you just send me a photo of it over please? Or do I have to wait till tonight? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you gotta wait till tonight. <laughs> Were you a bit nervous? Yeah. Well, no needs to be because we know. We've had a chat. Isabel's report was absolutely excellent. She got a really, really good year eight report for this half of the term. Yeah. She's doing very, very well. One or two things she knows she needs to like, improve on or whatever that she knows she struggles with anyway, but we knew that already. But overall, it was an excellent report and you should be very, very proud of yourself. Yes. Well done. I'm very proud of you. So she's just cracking on with some homework right now. 
Sarah's is going to get herself ready for bed too. And it's Thursday night, it's ticking on because obviously we've been at dance and stuff. It's getting to that time of night where everybody is just winding down and getting ready to go to bed. The nightly riot is going on inside Sarah's belly right now. This baby is so active, it's not even funny. Oh my Mom god. Get up, Pin. Pile up. Get up, Pin. Get up, Pin. Pile up, Pin. Get up, Pin. Get up, Pin. That's it, Pin. Get him. Get him, Pin. Oh, where's she going? Where's she going? Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Where's she going? Where's she going? She's going to get a tie. Where's she going? What have you got? What have you got? Jump back. Go get him, Pin. Go get him, Pin. Go get the girls. Go get the girls. She's like, nah, man. So we've all just had a bit of a silly half an hour when we were supposed to be watching Horrid Henry and calming down for bed, but we were being a bit silly, right? And these guys can't stop being silly. I'm going to do the belly again. <laughs> Even Isabel came up and joined in with being silly and Prinny was being silly too. So it was a lot of fun. <laughs> but we do need to calm down now and get ourselves to sleep, okay? Okay. Because it's coming up to quarter past eight. You made my... the snow stop. I know, man. Look, it's a good guys, thing. never wished for not to snow because you made the snow snop. Esme. Esme's going to dream all... What was that, sorry? I said the snow snop. <laughs> Esme's going to dream all night tonight about school being closed and there being lots of snow. Okay, right, listen now, listen, it is time for sleep now. Can I have a kiss, please? Mwah! Thank you very, very much. I love you. Mwah. Sleep tight, okay? I'll see you both in the morning. Yeah. Good night, sleep tight. I'll see you in the morning. Ready? One, two, three, go! Anyways guys, that is the end of today's video. Everyone is finally asleep in bed and I'm about to do the same. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you come back tomorrow because we've got a really fun, crazy day planned provided that there is no snow. We need no snow for it to happen. But we'll see you tomorrow night regardless at 5 p.m. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and we'll see you then. Good night guys. Talk about love.